Hello, this is Dr. Rafi Romano. I'm uh, very happy to uh, welcome you today to our tip of the day. Uh, today, our tip of the day will concentrate on biomechanics in lingual orthodontics. We are in session number two, which will concentrate on avoid side effects. Lingual orthodontics uh, particularly and orthodontics in general have a lot of side effects. We want to have a force delivered to a tooth and we get some side effects from the tooth itself or from the neighboring teeth. In lingual orthodontics we have a very, a very short arch perimeter. This is because we are treating from the inner side of the arch which is uh, around 40% smaller than the outer arch. This uh, cause a much smaller interbracket distance and also the wires became, become more rigid because there, are, there is less freedom between one bracket to another so we, we are actually delivering a different force by the same wire on a buccal or lingual technique. You can see here that if you take a line which pass through the long axis of the tooth and you look at the buccal bracket and the lingual bracket, sometimes when we have crowding, the distance between two lingual brackets is almost zero and the distance between two buccal brackets are, is very big. This is why it is more easy to do big moments in, lingual versus, in buccal versus lingual orthodontics. One of the most important things that we have to think in every movement that we are doing is the moments. The bigger the distance, the bigger the moment. If we want to move teeth, we want to rotate them, we want to uh, upright them, we need big moment. Big moment, we need big distance. We already discussed that in lingual we don't have a big distance. We have a very small distance. As you can see here, for example, in rotations, Again, uh, this uh, nice illustration was taken from uh, a CD-ROM by my friends Kutsu and Takamoto. Uh, this was marketed by OMCO many years ago. You can see here in these uh, nice illustrations that two lingual brackets have uh, a very, very minimal distance between them, which makes the rotation to be very, very, very uh, difficult. We have to put some accessories in order to enlarge the moment and make the, the movement more easy and more fast in lingual orthodontics. As you can see here about side effects, many times we are uh, seduced or convinced by manufacturers to use a very smart wires that can be bent all over the teeth and actually help us to do uh, things very fast. As you can see here, uh, a blocked out cannon, which is a little up or out, and we put a wire that connects all of them. What happens is that the wire between the cuspid and the lateral and the premolar is bent. These bends create movements of the neighboring roots. These neighboring roots that are moving are creating a side effect which is unwanted. In that case, it is much better to do a wire which is connected to all the teeth and then with a free elastics to pull the cusp to the wire and only later to engage it into the uh, teeth. Uh, this is a nice article published many years ago by uh, my friend uh, Muli Kornhauser and Yossi Abed and Doron Arari and Adrian Becker which explain how we can use two wires in the same slots by creating piggy bag in order to deliver a designated force to a tooth without creating side effects. As you can see here, we have impacted canine. There is wire that is connecting all the teeth and a free elastic is rotating this cuspid around its axis. You can see here two wires that we use in order to eliminate the side effects uh, on this um, impacted canine. Uh, 
Let's see what happens when we increase torque, for example, in a specific case. Let's see effect and side effect. What, the first one is um, the crown angulation. According to Andrews, uh, six keys of occlusion, when we add torque, we get some wagon wheel effect, meaning that the roots are converging. In that case, we can add angulation in the laboratory or in the bracket position in order to correct it. We add torque, we get many times intrusion. If we get intrusion by the tooth is, tooth is proclining, we can change the bracket height or create reverse curve of speed. Uh, we uh, have too much torque, we can lose anchorage. If we lose anchorage, we can add second molars, we can add palatal arch, we can add mini implants or headgear. If we have canting of the occlusal plane, we can do a reverse curve. If we have friction because of this enlarged torque, we can use stainless steel wire versus beta titanium wire. If we have difficulties in wire engagement, we can go and use some torque engagement tools. If we have too much force, we can get root resorption and bracket failures. This is why we use resilient wires. In the torque, we don't use stainless steel wire, we use TMA wires which produce less force uh, and uh, with the same uh, amount of uh, or same size of the wire. Thank you very much and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next series.